Hi friends, this is Raj Shekhar from Sai Medha Coaching Institute. Now, today we are going to discuss about SSC JE, Staff Selection Commission, Junior Engineer Notification. In generally, every year in a calendar, there is a notification from Staff Selection Commission that is Junior Engineer. Generally, this notification is only for three branches. One is the electrical and civil and mechanical. Only these three branches. I am from electrical background. So, now I am going to discuss about electrical question paper. Generally, this SSCJE exam contains 200 questions. You know very well about this already. In these 200 questions, 100 from our technical syllabus, nothing but core syllabus. 100 questions from core syllabus. And remaining 100 questions are divided into two parts. What are those two parts? One is from general intelligence and reasoning. General intelligence and reasoning, 50 marks. And next one, general awareness, 50 marks. This is the 100 marks general and remaining 100 marks from our technical. Technical nothing but for electrical students from electrical. For civil students from civil branch. From mechanical students, for mechanical students from mechanical branch. This 100 marks is respect to their, their respective branches. But... These 100 marks are common for any branch students. Now, you have one doubt. Sir, which is more important area to get the job? In which area we have to concentrate more and more? Like that. In general, if you want job, don't ask like a questions. If you want job, every question is a must and should require. Every question is very important to get the job. Even though generally you have a well grip on our technical subjects. But on general awareness and general intelligence, we don't have enough knowledge. Yes, sir. In generally, in diploma three years, and some people diploma three years, plus B.Tech three years, and who are came from 10 plus 2, they are four years B.E. B.Tech. They already read about this technical, but this is uh, somewhat uh, not familiar to all the students. So in generally, in general intelligence and reasoning, very simple questions are there. If you Concentrate on this topic, general intelligence and reasoning topic. If you prepare well, you must get, you can get around 45 plus marks within less time actually. You have to do within less time. Because generally these 200 questions, you have to complete in 2 hours. 2 hours, nothing but not a 200 minutes. 2 hours, nothing but only 60 multiplied by 2. 120 minutes, 120 minutes, 200 questions. Really, it's a difficult thing. But here, the general intelligence and reasoning is very simple questions. If you concentrate more, if you prepare well, you can get around 45 plus marks. And next one, technical. In this technical, if you concentrate more, if you have an awareness about your all branch subjects, you can get around 90 plus marks. 95 also possible. My, many students get 90 plus, even 94, 95 also. So, one thing here, just uh, 
you can complete this 100 marks and this 50 marks within one and a half hour. If you have an end of grief, you can complete these two within one and a half hour. Remaining half an hour, you can choose for general awareness. That is enough. This is half an hour is enough for this. But you have to complete these two in one and a half hour time. Then only you can get the job. In generally, the topper in the exam can get around 150 to 160 marks. Nothing but 150 plus marks. Mostly 160, of course, let's take the 160 plus marks. Less than 10, less, less than 10. So, the topper gets 160 marks. Nothing but, if you got around 140 to 150, you must get the job. There is no chance to leave it. If you got around 140 plus marks, you will get the job, no doubt at all. So, here already I said that if you have enough grip, you can get 90 plus marks from technical. And if you, have, if you concentrate on this one, you can get 45 plus marks. Around what is the... Score now, 90 plus 45, 135. Sir, I am not that much of intelligent. I can get only 80 to 85. Check 80. In least case. Sir, this is also, I can get only 40. Around 80 plus 40, you got already 120 marks. What I say to you, 140 plus, around 150 is enough to get the job. Already you got around 120 plus of marks, 120 to 130 marks. So, to get the job, now we required around 30 marks. We required around 30 marks. So, in general awareness, really it's a, a big subject. General awareness contains current affairs, current affairs, current events, general science, and geography, history, economy, polity, science and technology, like that many chapters are there in this general awareness. Each chapter contains less marks. Even though about this, my faculty, general awareness faculty will give you a clear analysis which area is more important. Like that, like a history. Generally history nothing but it's a Ocean. But in SSEJ exam, mainly they will ask you modern history. In that, where they are going to ask you question, my faculty will explain you. Right? So, like a, from this general awareness, you must carry around 20 plus marks. For that, you have to choose the major marks part. Then only you can get 20 plus marks. Don't read all the history, economic politics, don't go for all the points. Just uh, follow my faculty what they given. In which area they will ask you maximum questions, follow him. You can get around 20 plus, around 30 marks surely. So, around if you got 140 plus marks, then only we can expect the job. We can expect the name, the list in SSEJE first part. Of course, you know already SSEJE exams two. One is the primary, tier one. Then after tier two also is there. In the tier two, completely conventional. But you have to qualify first this uh, part one or tier one. Right? So, this is generally about the complete analysis, how many marks are there, simply. Okay. So, I said you already about this you can get around 40 if you are normal. If you are intelligent, you can get 45 plus marks if you concentrate properly. And if you go as a weightage, in which area they will ask you questions like that, you can get around 20 plus. If you are more intelligent, more familiar, you can get around 30 marks also. Next, so let's go for technical. I will explain you, especially for electrical branch, how they will ask you questions in our electrical branch. Okay, let's see. In this electrical branch, we have a different subjects like 
बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग वेरी सिंपल बेसिक दे विल आस्क यू व्हाट इज रेसिस्टेंस एंड इंडक्टेंस एंड कैपेसिटेंस बेस्ड ऑन दैट एंड सिंपल सर्किट्स एंड देन आफ्टर केसीएल केवीएल बेस्ड ऑन दैट दे विल आस्क यू वेरी सिंपल यू कैन गेट 100% मार्क्स फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक एंड नेक्स्ट वन एसी फंडामेंटल्स जनरली कंपैरेटिवली दिस इज समवर डिफिकल्ट but if you have an grip you can get the answer simply and then after basic electronics basic electronics actually this is a big subject electronics but here we have to go through only basics like a pn junction diode based on that gnr diode based on that i next one bjt i next one fet especially they will ask you questions on basics of these topics don't go for all just uh, follow the syllabus they will ask you only up to syllabus that's it right and next one after this electrical machines and power systems these two are the major topics for electrical engineering we know out of 100 marks you can get around 50 plus marks from only these two topics i next one measurements of course i next one estimation and costing like this bwe ac fundamentals basic electronics and machines and power system measurement and estimation and costing these are the topics from our electrical branch but to get 90 plus marks the major role plays only these two topics electrical machines and power systems for example let's go for power system how they will ask you questions in power system especially they will ask you in protection and transmission they will must they must ask you questions on relays questions on relays this is major topic in production what is impedance relay where we have to use this what is reactance relay what is a long for long transmission line which relay is preferable like that they will ask you question on relays nearly two or three questions also they may ask you then after circuit breakers what is rate of rise of re striking voltage compulsory question what is current chopping and resistance switching note down this there is a question in coming ssc je exam the question on current chopping or resistance switching 100% question is there no doubt at all and next one on the protection like a small topics like a fuse like a lightning arresters direct lightning indirect lightning like that what we have to use to protect our transmission line to protect our substation like that they will ask you very simple questions mostly if you follow our saimeda notes if you follow our saimeda videos 100% you can get around 5 to 6 questions you will get the exactly how many questions from your production you can do only from our saimeda material line video classes you can do 100% and then after transmission in transmission also like that what is corona what is the main reason for corona corona means not this corona okay not i am not talking about uh, covid 19 okay corona effect we know very well in our power system and uh, like that what is skin effect very very important what is sag must there is a question on based on sag what is the relation between sag and uh, length of the conductor like that like uh, a b c d parameters is very 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 important there is a question in coming ssc je examination 
on ABCD parameters. If transmission line length increases, what happened to A? What happened to B? What happened to C? What happened to D? What is the transmission parameters for long transmission line? For Pi network, what is the parameters? Like that they will ask you questions. Like that they will give you 1Z01. This is the ABCD parameters for which transmission line? Like that, like that they will ask you questions. Very, very, very important. There is a question on common SSCJ examination. Then after, they may ask you problems also. If transmission line length is 100 kilometers, my leakage resistance is 10 mega ohms. If transmission line length doubles, then what is the leakage resistance? Like that. And then after, very important question from our transmission, that is string efficiency. What is the formula for string efficiency? Can you tell me? Yeah, exactly. Number of disks into voltage upon the total voltage, the last disk voltage upon total voltage. Based on this trans string efficiency, there is a question isolators then after underground cables what is the use of metallic sheet generally the armoring is made up of serving can do what like that once go through all previous SSCJ questions you have an idea how they will ask you questions there is a hundred percent questions on bundle conductor there is no question paper without bundle conductor question. What is the use of bundle conductor? Of course, they may ask you problem on bundle conductor. What are the advantages of bundle conductor? In bundle conductor, what is the gradients? Electric gradients increases or decreases? Like that, you can, you can expect the question and if you follow the sign of the videos and sign of the material, you have an idea and you can imagine questions in your SSCJE examination. In our sign of the chairman, Ramana sir will deal this power system. He will give you 100% clarity. Okay. Then after my subject, electrical machine. In general, for electrical students, transformer is a favorite subject, right? In the transformer, humming noise is very important. Then after, the construction of transformer core, very important. Then after, there is a must and should question on voltage regulation. There is a question in the coming your SSCJ examination, no doubt. Voltage regulation. What is the condition for maximum voltage regulation? And when we can get the zero voltage regulation? Like that questions. And there is a question on power transformer and distribution transformer also. Like that. Very simple, very well expected questions are there in our transformer. You can get the answers 100%. And in transformer, there is a question in every competitive examination. Without that question, there is no question paper. That is losses. Historicist losses and eddy current losses and copper losses. Remember this point. There is a question in your coming SSCJ examination. That is losses. 100%. No doubt about it. What is the formula? Can you tell me? Historicist losses directly proportional to frequency when V by F ratio is constant. But eddy current losses are directly proportional to frequency square when V by F ratio is constant. If V by F ratio not constant, eddy current losses directly proportional to V square. But iron losses are called constant losses. They won't change with the load. But copper losses changes with respect to load. That is, x to load copper losses is equals to x square times of the full load copper losses. Very, 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 very important question. Many times asked in SSCJ examination. Like you can get an idea how they will ask you a question. 
and you can imagine the questions in your examination when you are sitting in bench in front of your examination. Right, sir. Then after transformer, next induction machine. In the induction machine, only small problems are there. That is one speed equations, next power equations, next torque equations. 100% questions on power equation, no doubt at all. There is a question in your SSCJ examination. 100% questions on torque based on starters and torque. Starters and torque, 100% question, no doubt. And also, there is a chance to ask the question in power equation also. There is a very important question. Slip is equals to rotor copper losses upon rotor input. Very, very, very important question. This is the this is the formula in between the speed equations and power equations. And also there is a question on slip ring induction machine and squirrel cage induction machine. In which starting torque is more? In which overload capacity is more? In which starting current is more? In which power factor is more? In which we are using slip rings? in which we are using end rings. What is the advantage of end rings? Why we cannot add extra resistance to the squirrel cage induction machine? The resistance control speed. Speed controlled by resistance changing method. Why not applicable for squirrel cage induction machine? Like your very familiar questions from your induction machine. There is a question on speed equations 100%. What is the current in star delta starter yeah you know that very well so like in many questions are there then after dc machines armature reaction very important question next in dc machine very important question is speed control there is a hundred percent questions on speed control methods and a hundred percent questions on shent motor and shent generator find the back emf find the armature current like many questions and also some different questions if a shunt field open circuited if armature winding short circuited what happened like a analytical questions also is there okay so like that many questions are very familiar from our dc machine next to synchronous machine in synchronous machine 100 percent minimum two questions are there from parallel operation very 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 important parallel operation vehicles and inverted vehicles very important vehicles and inverted vehicles can you tell me vehicles are drawn between vehicles are drawn between field current and armature current but inverted vehicles are drawn between field current and power factor very important question. If uh, excitation increases, what happened to power factor? If excitation decreases, what happened to reactive power? Like uh, many questions which are very important. My alternator operating at lagging low. What it will do? It absorbs the reactive power or delivers the reactive power. Why? Like uh, if you have a small concept, you can get the answers easily. Armature reaction. Very, very, very important. Like a very simple questions you can get. And there is a very important question from synchronous machine, hunting. I will give you surety. There is a question in your coming SSCJ examination from hunting. And in induction machine, crawling and cogging. Crawling and cogging from induction machine, hunting from synchronous machine, humming from transformer. There is a question based on this. And next one in synchronous machine, EMF equation, voltage regulation, very important questions. And why we cannot use sail and pole machines in our generation, in which the stability is more. In synchronous machine, how we can control the power factor? Can you tell me how we can control the power factor in synchronous machine? Very good, by changing the excitation. That's good. Nice answer. Like you can expect the questions from our electrical machine. If once you can buy this Sai Meda video process, you can get a clear idea. 
you, you have all these topics in our video classes and you have all these topics and questions, practice questions in our material. If you go through these Sai Mega video classes and material, it is easy comparatively. Of course, you, you may be an intelligent fellow, but the way is easy through our Sai Mega. Okay, just I given here what I discussed in this 10 minutes, you may get nearly 5 questions. If I discussed here 100 hours, at least 50 hours, SR no, you will get nearly 100 marks SR no. And not only me, here chairman sir also is there, director, chairman sir, Ramana sir also will teach you in your video classes. So just don't waste your time uh, for this SSC JE notification already the end of October, the last date for application end of the October and of course exam date also released in March. So don't waste your valuable time. So just prepare well and get the good rank and get the qualified in SSC JE Tire 1 and Next, get the job in SSCJE. All the best for all the students.